everyone, my name is Megan Berthume and I am from SEM Connections and today I'm going to be doing a short video on outlier correction. What we're going to do first here is go into Manage Forecast Model and I'm going to show you how we have our outlier correction and forecasting model set up. So first order of business is we're going to go to the General tab and we're going to look at the periodicity, uh, which is at week. <clears throat> There's multiple options here. Uh, but we're going to stick to the week and we're going to uh, look at the historical periods, which is 52 weeks. So basically IBP is going to look back 52 weeks into your um, sales history to then forecast out 52 weeks for your future forecasting periods. We don't have any of these um, other settings set currently um, besides consider the PLM information and where the outlier information actually lies is here in the pre-processing steps now there are many different options here substitute missing values outlier correction and promotion of sales promotion sales lift elimination and we're going to choose the outlier correction now there are also many different outlier detection methods um, the first one is the inner core quartile range test um, and that basically is going to check whether the time series values are within the inner quartile range. <clears throat> and then there is another one called variance test which we're going to be using today and basically the system is going to check whether the time series values deviate uh, with more from the mean than the standard deviation multiplied by a constant. And so we're going to keep our constant at 1.5 and our outlier correction method, we're going to do the correction with the mean. Um, there are also multiple methods here, and if you just click on the help, open help arrow, it will tell you what every single one of these actually um, is doing. So we're going to stick with the correction with the mean, and our input for our algorithm is going to be the uh, adjusted sales key figure. and our result is going to be saved in final actuals cleansed. And now our outlier correction is set up, so we're going to go into IBP's Excel add-in and we're going to take a look at what um, IBP is doing. So first thing that we're going to look at here is we're going to go to the status of the statistical forecasting job. And basically what I want to see is where my outliers are located for this material in this location customer. So if you look at the messages on this side, you can actually see where the outliers are found. And so right here, we're going to see that there's four outliers found in week five, six, seven, and eight. And what IBP is going to do is take the mean, that's our correction method, and input it into these weeks as these are the outliers that were identified. And let's see if IBP did that. Okay, perfect. So what you're going to see here is that this is the mean of the actuals quantity and this is taken for the last 52 weeks. And this is the standard deviation of our last 52 weeks as well. And then um, this is the z-score basically where we are going to get the upper and the lower limit for the variance test. And anything that falls outside of the upper and lower limit is going to be corrected by IBP. And so I showed you in the status um, of the job that there were four outliers and our outliers are here, week five, six, seven, and eight. And what IBP has done is it said, okay, we need to replace that with the mean and we're going to replace it with 7,205. And so it did that for these four weeks. And as you can see here, the other weeks are within our variance. And IBP has left it alone and then pushed the actuals quantity into this final actuals cleansed key figure. That's outlier correction. Thank you so much. Please contact us with any questions.